the land of the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the the Lord, 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 the the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, um, some information on the NIV um, committee board, and I want to begin with a, her name is Dr. Virginia Ramey Mollencott, and she's one of the chief translators on the NIV committee. And uh, I like to bring pictures in case someone thinks I'm making it up. So, thank God, man. She's a lesbian, and you can tell by, by looking at that picture. Wow, man. <laughs> she looked like a, uh, praise God, a man trying to be a woman, but she's a woman. Um, and she was on the NIV committee, and she's also Episcopalian. As a matter of fact, she wrote in a witness, which is one of their uh, periodicals, in 1991, someone asked a question, why was it important uh, for you to come out as a lesbian? And she said, my lesbianism has always been a part of me. I tried to kill myself in my teens because they told me I'd never be healed, that God had no use for people like me. I couldn't stand the thought of living a life that was useless, and offensive to God. But if you were unrepentant lesbian, you are useless and offensive to God. Again. I tried to be heterosexual. I married myself off. But what I did ultimately realize was that God created me as I was. And this is where life was meaningful. Well, I beg to differ because God never made a sodomite or a lesbian on a day. Amen. So, now they made it in IV on the day inference that they was trying to get rid of archaic words like vow and you know we don't talk like that in 2010 but what they tried to do was to get that sodomite see that the lesbian sodomite coalition was chiefly behind this NIV um, publication and according to Zondervan uh, the NIV is the most popular English translation of the Bible in the world I believe they made the first edition in 1984 and they just revised it and uh, Elder Willis told me at the Christian bookstore here in South Carolina, they got a big old display set up. They're really trying to hawk this NIV Bible. Why? Because the feminist and the lesbian movement is mm -hmm. behind it on the day. And I believe the prophet already brought up Deuteronomy 23 and 17. And I'm going to go to 1 Kings 14 and 24. And I'm going to read the King James Version and then read the NIV Version. So all you people in YouTube land can see the difference between the two. 1 Kings 14 and 24. King James Version, and there were also Sodomites in the land, and they did according to all the abominations of the nations, which the Lord cast out before the children of Israel. First Kings 14.24, perverted NIV Version. There were even male shrine prostitutes in the land. The people engaged in all detestable practices of the nations of the Lord. Now, why did they take the word Sodomite out? Because Miss Melancholy was a lesbian, and she didn't want the word Sodomite in there, because uh, she know they would condemn her wicked lifestyle. Let's go to 1 Kings 15 and 12, King James Version. And he took away the Sodomites out of the land and removed all the idols that his fathers had made. NIV Version, 1 Kings 15 and 12. He expelled the male shrine prostitutes from the land and got rid of all the idols his ancestors had made. Yeah. Once again, they don't have the word Sodomite here. Let's go to 1 Kings 22 and 46. Amen. King James Version, which is the Bible that Christians read, 22 and 46, and the remnant of the Sodomites, in case there's a few left, they will slip through the cracks, amen, the man of God went back and got them, which remained in the days of his father Asa, he took out of the land. 1 Kings 22 and 46, NIV, he rid the land of the rest of the male shrine prostitutes <laughs> who remained there even after the reign of his father Asa. Now, this is a shame, and I want to go to 1st King Corinthians 6 and 9. So not only did they take the word sodomite out, they even took out the word effeminate. Amen. But effeminate is a direct consort with a sodomite or a man who has feminine qualities on the day. You know how they walk with their wrists and pop and do all those things? <laughs> women don't even act like... <laughs> they don't even act as bad as the sisters yeah. who try to act like women. I never saw a woman act like that no. or talk like that, but that's what you try to portray. 1st Corinthians 6 and 9. King James Version. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators. So, Miss Melancholy and all you sodomites and lesbians, if a fornicator is going straight to hell to the lake of fire, and that's a man sleeping with a woman, and a woman sleeping with a man, where do you think a sodomite and a lesbian is going to go, a man who's displaying the characters of an animal? That's why the Bible calls you 
a dog on a day. You don't have no discipline, enough character to even uh, be sexually attracted to someone of the same sex on a day. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusing themselves with mankind. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, NIV version. Or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Now this said wrongdoers, the King James said unrighteous. Yeah. Be not be be not deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor man. But that's confusing. Sexually immoral could have been a man who slept with his brother wife, but this isn't talking about that. This is talking about effeminate. Why is the word effeminate not in the NIV Bible? Because yeah. effeminate is too closely related to sodomite. Matter of fact, it's directly related to sodomite. They're doing everything they can to get around the sodomite. But I thank and praise God that we don't call you G-A-Y. We don't even like to use the word homosexual. You a sodomite, amen. Yeah. It means, amen, you go in the wrong part of a man just like you would to an animal on a day. Yeah. And it's all confusion in the eyesight of God. And I'm going to close out this part dealing with Jude. And we like to use Jude because it mentions something, a very powerful phrase, Jude verse 7. Even in Sodom and Gomorrah, King James Version, and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. Yeah. Now what is strange flesh? That means it's uh, weird, it's uncommon, it's improper. Yeah. Uh, it's not right for a man to desire another man's flesh when you got all these women out here, hey amen. There's no need for you to want to sleep with a woman where you can get you a wife, hey amen. Strange flesh are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. And for all you Simons out there, uh, Solomon and Gomorrah wasn't destroyed for being rude or amen. inhospitable. Yeah. They're destroyed for being Sodomites, hey amen. For being sissies on the day, for being lesbians, hey amen. Now, what does Jude 7 say in NIV Bible? In a similar way, Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding towns gave themselves up to sexual immorality and perversion. They serve an example of those who suffer the punishment of eternal fire. But you see here, the slick way they are, there's no mention of strange flesh. Right. They say perversion. They teach that uh, you can be in a loving, committed relationship, two men or two women, as long as you're not uh, messing with little children, doing this and that. But how can a man be in a committed relationship with another man on the day. There's no Bible for that. Anytime a man is in a relationship with another man, they're both filthy and perverted. And the Bible says they're worthy of death. So we thank praise God. We rebuke this NIV Bible in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. And, and this is a chief instrument that the Sodomite and Levin community yes. is using. But I thank and praise God. Uh, I showed a prop today. I was encouraged that uh, Pat Robinson, this kind of surprised me. He used the word Sodomite. And that actually was a blessing. Amen. Man. He called him sodomite. He didn't use gay or homosexual, and he's trying to encourage and the, uh, to the sister in Maryland, you ask me to pray for your state. We do pray for your state. And I'm praying that that uh, his same sex marriage in Maryland fails. But if it does pass, the blood is going to be on their hand. But we're yet praying for America. But America, you need to be obedient to the great cross of God over there. And I come out and rebuke those sodomites in Jesus' name. And I want to close, I want to get into the Godhead because Amen. we are a oneness church and we teach with the Bible teach. Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh. We don't teach no trinity of God because it, Deuteronomy 6 and 4 says here are Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And the NIV Bible purposely leaves out the name of Jehovah. Amen. But without the name of Jehovah, you don't have a true name of God. And Jehovah is connected with Jesus because Jesus in Hebrew is Yeshua, which means Jehovah Savior, man. There were many offices of Jehovah, but Jesus was Jehovah in the office of Savior. You have Jehovah Shalom or Je Jehovah Siskanu, many various titles of Jehovah. And I want to get into Exodus 6 and 3 in the authorized King James Version of the day. Because God's name is not Lord, is not God. Amen. Exodus 6 and 3. And God spake unto Moses and said to him, I am the Lord. Now you you people, you claim, you follow NIV, you claim, you believe God, but God is speaking here. I'm going to repeat that. And God spake unto Moses, and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name, Jehovah, was I not known to them. That's the King James Version. God's name is not God, is not Lord. His name is Jehovah. Hallelujah, amen. Let's go to Exodus 63, New International Version, NIV. Mm -hmm. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, 
that the 